guys, Sean back with another video, and today we got a police body cam, because your boy loves him some true crime body cam stuff. I probably watch more of that stuff than A Lonely Housewife, but uh, yeah, police rescue woman before she is dragged into a car, which one of you sent me this to my email, so uh, yeah, it sounds interesting. I definitely want to see what the hell happened here, so uh, let's get right into it. In October 2023, Officer Sergeant of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Department was driving her patrol truck northbound on US-1 in the area of Key Haven when she noticed the sedan driving erratically. She then observed a woman thrown from the passenger side of the sedan roll across the pavement. At the time of making this- Oh, Jesus Christ. We're all in our birthday suit today, huh? Damn. That's a little package there, buddy. This video, the case is still ongoing, with a trial set for April. You're going to want to stick around to the end of this video, as there were some interesting events that transpired after the events of the video. What's going on? We were fighting. Yeah, fine. Um, Who? My girlfriend. Okay. And I, Your girlfriend? Yes, sir. And I, she was trying to jump out of the car. Okay. And I went to make this U-turn. Where, where is she at? She's, She's over with the other our officers. Location, please. Okay. Also, he's got a Marine Corps tattoo right across his stomach some AKs or something like that, a little heart. Yeah, man, this dude's a veteran, too. I usually like to stick up for the veterans. Is, um, is everyone like, physically I okay? Have, uh, she jumped out of the car. I she jumped out of the vehicle. Is she walking? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do you have a driver's license? I do. I'll grab it in a second. Do you want to sit right here? Just take a deep breath, sweetie. Okay, I'm right here. No, uh, he is not coming near you. He is not. He, it's okay. Uh, this girl, it's not your fault. I love it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It is not your fault, okay? jumped out of a car to get away from him and you're still gonna say i man that drives me nuts when people do that obviously i get the motions ain't gonna go away like that but the dude's gotta be some kind of nuts for you to jump out of a car take a deep breath it's not your fault it's not your fault i didn't mean to flag you down no. I, I, trust me i was stopping no matter what because i saw you fall out of the freaking car and i was like that's it that's it okay you're, you're with me now deep breaths deep breath okay you don't understand deep breath. Deep breath. i'm a good girl Sweetie, no one ever asked you to have dressed like a good girl. But also, how do you guys tie dye your uh, chesticles like that? I want to try that. I have a daughter. I'm. I know. I, no, this is, okay. looks it's bad okay. on no. me. No. My... <laughs> no one, no matter what, whatever Dude, you're am doing. Am I gonna be scarred? Like what happened? Yeah, I, I just feel, I flew out of the, the car. I think my adrenaline is running. I think my adrenaline is running. Pain right like, now, maybe? Yes, probably, because you are bleeding. You are and bleeding. I don't know. It looks like your nose, sweetie. Your glasses aren't broken, though, okay? I think she'd be a little more emotionally scarred. She's probably going to have a scar if she jumped out of a car. But I think the whole, like, lasting effects from this, or from just being with a dude that crazy you had to jump out of a car, probably is the worst part. Okay. You, I think you should go to the doctor, because it looks like your lips f***ed up. She's been drinking heavily. Okay. Got a big fight. She cheated on me a couple weeks ago. Okay. I'm pretty upset about it. I kept asking, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? She wouldn't. Why? Why ask questions you don't want to know the answer to? I ask guys this all the time. Like, and I, my thought process is, if you're cheating on me, don't effing tell me. Or don't let me find out. Because I'm, I'm chilling then. But once I find out, it's scorched earth. Because I got to get some get even. Tell me. We were fighting. As soon as I spun this U-turn, she jumped out of the fucking car. How fast were you moving when this happened? 20, I don't know, but they were right there as soon as... Okay. Hey, do you know him? I'm with him. Hey, I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. Okay. He threw her out of the car. Threw her out of the car? Yeah, the he just threw her out of the car. Is he No. She literally jumped out of the car. Uh, as of right now, it looks like a female... Also, could somebody explain to me why this guy has dick bolts tattooed on him? I don't know what he's going. I guess he could make some kind of funny joke about like thunderclapping cheeks or something. Oh, I want that tattoo. You can bang and listen to Thunderstruck at the same time. Female subject jumped out of a vehicle at low speed. She's 10 4 walking around. I swear to God, there's no way I could I did not touch her. We're going to figure it out. I have video footage. Okay, okay. Of him. Is that your phone right there? Is that what you keep yeah, pointing there? I was videoing him yelling. Where's at me? your phone, sweetie? He told me he was going to kill me. Oh, it's right there, I it's right there. Video. I showed you the video okay. I took. Okay. I took it all on video. Okay. Sergeant, I took, are you okay. a sergeant? Rihanna, you can, whatever you can. I, it's my phone. 
Okay, okay. Shh. It's okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. I took it all on video. Good. Good. It's all on video. Good. Good. That's good. How, wait, my phone's not working. <laughs> I know. It's because it's... Yeah, phones usually don't work too good once they hit the concrete like that. But also, she's got like some kind of E.T. things going on. Like, phone home and get the hell away from this weirdo. Probably because of when you fell out of the vehicle. I took it all on video. He said he was going to kill me. Okay, I'm sorry. And I... I'm sorry. No one should be talking to you like that ever, so... But I have it on video. Uh, okay. And my phone's not working. I know, So what do I do? You'll be... You'll probably... If you have an iCloud or something, you'll probably be able to get into your... What so, do I do? It's okay. To prove that no, he I, me out the I, I saw... I saw everything, so you don't need to prove it. I promise you. I think you really have to prove it if they saw you hit the concrete but i just feel bad for her right now because she's so like obviously she's worked up right i would expect her nothing less she's talking about how she's got a kid why would you date this weird dude you got a kid like he's got to be some level of messed up to some extent to do something like that I, I saw the whole thing girl don't worry i was because we thought honestly i thought he was hammered because he drew, drew off the road and then i he saw you drink. on the road he doesn't drink well, I, they hate, you could tell he was acting irrationally, so that's, to say the least, yeah, that's not okay. I have it all- He does this sober? Damn, if he drinks, he's pitching your ass out of an airplane. On video, I You'll probably, video. it's okay, you'll, if they, if you have a SIM card in there too, they'll be able to get it off. I have everything, yeah. okay. I videoed it all. Because the second he started telling me he was gonna kill me, I- Yeah, no, no, and good. Can I tell you this? Yeah, I told my friend good. because I watch all the crime scene videos, mm -hmm. and I do right, love him. Right, me too. I love the crime scene. You almost were a crime scene. You need to be very wary of what guys you date in the future. I promise. I love you. And we have history. Like, yeah, but you, someone who's treating you like that, shouldn't, that's not love. I know, but you don't understand. Preach. I mean, you no, do I, understand. No, I don't know. I, I don't, everyone's situation is different. I, I don't understand. This, um, I told my friend, I was like, listen, this is the best word to my phone in case anything happens. And... I promise you. I love her. She is safe with 9416 back. Listen to me. Hold on. Dude, like, I can already tell this guy's manipulative. Like, I love her. That makes everything I just did okay. Because it's emotions, right? I'm so in love, I couldn't control myself. I don't know how to restrain myself. That's how strong my love language is. Like, this dude's a total D-bag. I can tell that already. And, and that, I could tell this if he was wearing clothes without the dick bolts, too. You were driving? 65 on floor 27 is going to be the driver. She is wasted. I'm just trying to get her home. Okay. I love her, but we're fighting, and she's freaking wasted. She literally jumped. The worst thing, uh, what do I do when I argue with my girl? Usually I just say, damn it, I'm a high value man, but I'm, I'm totally messing around. But I always say I'm a high value. She usually just tells me to shut my high value ass up. So we kind of go back and forth funny like that, though. Probably scared of me, yeah, but I didn't hit her. But my question is, is why would she jump out of a moving vehicle? I swear to God, she wants to jump. Well, I'm asking you, why? Why would she do that? She's upset. She's wasting. Okay. Fighting. To jump out of a moving vehicle, though. I'm telling you. You gotta come up with a better lie than that, buddy. Maybe she's into herpetology. Like she was looking for snakes, and she saw one. She let's come up with. You're in Florida, Florida man. Jump out of car, snake. Maybe she was trying to catch an alligator. She's wasted. She was were, wasted. were you driving? I was driving. Like the vehicle was in motion. Very slow. I was about to do a U-turn. She went to get out. And as I was turning, the momentum bumped her out. I'm GPS assuming you're coming from Fantasy Fest. Yes, sir. I yelled. I yelled and I didn't touch. Fantasy Fest? What is that? Sounds like adult Disneyland. That was probably fun as hell. I scared her, but I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her, I swear to God. I'll get, I, honest to God, I didn't touch her. Sergeant, is she good? Do we need EMS rolling? What's the deal? Yeah, I would definitely get EMS here. He, like, shoved her out of the car while it was moving. I watched the whole thing. She either jumped out of the car or he shoved her out of the car while it was moving. I saw the whole thing. He drove off the road. And That's it. Take Dick Pulse to D-Block. We're getting him up out of here. He's going to have to, uh, get a little bit thunderstruck up in that jail cell. And then she fell out of the vehicle. Until we get this figured out, I'm going to detain you, okay? I literally watched the vehicle. He swerved onto the median. She literally was thrown from the vehicle, and then he ran out and grabbed her and tried to throw her back in the car, and then she got out again and ran to me. Um, you shouldn't be living like oh, that, Oh, here we go. Okay. It, it, okay. I opened so it up. I, okay. I totally... Oh. Okay. Phone works. Um, if you're a guy, right, most of my audience is female, but if you're a guy and you are arguing with your girl, whatever, and it gets to some level of heated, 
you are 100 times better off walking away from that argument. Now, sometimes they won't let you walk away, but it's not going to do any good to get to that level and not just kind of separate yourself from that situation. Okay, video! Okay, listen, listen, listen. Here we go. Here she goes. Okay. Fuck him twice! Here it goes. Are you guys on a fancy <laughs> festival in the studio? That's why everyone was down there. I'm not saying it's bad. You don't know me. You don't know me. You could've just said a f***ing name. You're defying me. You're actively defying me. I asked you a f***ing question. You can't give me an answer? I'm working up with you since we got home. Do you live with him? No. Okay. You're defying me is a crazy way to describe that. This dude scares the hell out of me. Yeah, no, that that's not cool. Obviously, this is effed up. Crazy, you talk about killing me? That's not a thing. I got like... Spitters or quitters. I thought you were honestly dead. I... And I'm just quiet. I don't even argue yeah, back. Yeah. I'm Girl, I'm quiet. Yeah, I, I don't even argue. Yeah, don't have, and I'm just quiet. No. And it hurts. This is not your fault, too. It's not your fault. You don't have to just... Uh -huh. it is because it's my not, parents not. tell me to go, and my friends tell me to leave when him, and involved, I stick around. When you're involved, you're involved. Yeah, but everybody else always knows what's best. Hindsight's twenty twenty. so... I, I don't know what you saw in the guy. Dick bolts, I guess. I don't... It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Right? I stick around, and I shouldn't, and every time this happens... It's okay. It, it, what oh, what oh, stuff like, like glue. Person. It's I'm quiet not, because yeah. I'm not talking and it's quiet. And I'm, I don't no, know I'm, if it's I'm still not, playing. I'm not here to judge you or any of your situations. It's not. It's still going, but it's I'm just judging quiet. a little bit. Listen, here, it's going still. It's going now. I'm going to crash it, he says. Well, I saw him drive off the road. Listen, he goes. Hey, cleavage shot. I'm like, don't crash it. And you said he doesn't drink? He doesn't drink. So he's not drunk right he's, now? No. He's sober. He doesn't drink. He's on. He was on Suboxone. He's not anymore. Oh. Okay. That might explain a little bit of the mood swings up and down like that. And he was like, I'm gonna... Why was he on Suboxone? Was he getting on something, or getting off something else? What do you think, know. lady? Which is not something I should ever be. Well, I'm not here to judge you, girl. Don't worry. You want a bad boy. He said, did you hear him say, I'm going to drive you off the yes. road? Yes, and he tried to, literally. Yeah. Girl, you can't be jumping out of vehicles like that, girl. I thought you were freaking... What was I supposed to do? He no, said he was no, going to kill not, me. I'm, girl, I'm not. Trust me. I'm trying super hard to see what she saw in this guy, but I just, I can't see it. And then... Obviously, he's a control freak like hell. You're defying me? You are actively defying me. That's crazy. Good. Deep breath, we're gonna figure it out. Go ahead. Do you have ID on you? Oh my god. You have eyes I don't think I've ever argued in a car and thought, yeah, I'm just gonna too fat, too furious this chick out of the car. Alright. Yeah. I didn't touch her tonight. And I didn't throw her tonight. Good, Bubba's about to touch you. If you ever have to say that in life, you are in the wrong place and doing something drastically wrong. Are you trying to convince me of that or you? I know I didn't. I didn't say anything. You're the one talking, man. That's how it looks. I know. Well, I was, I was confused because I thought it was a child, so I wanted to pull up here to be like, what the hell is going on here? It would be worse if it was a child he was chasing down because that would be so much more sick. This is effed up, don't get me wrong. But if he was trying to drag a kid in the car, I would try to hit him with my car. And then, yeah, I, know, I didn't know you were a police officer because oh, you were me. in the I'm truck. Right. I and, I, and I was like, just please someone stop. Like, I need help. Okay, girl, we got you. Just, you know, this is not what I am. This is not supposed to be happening to me. Hey, Louie, what's going on? So this is Louie. He's awesome. He's here. Hi. Wow. Okay. So, you can go, go ahead and explain what happened. 
Sparrows will be okay. I mean, Re rescue's coming. So. Yeah. I feel like pretty numb. That's but... understandable. I feel like this is something that hits you the next day, just how bad this could have been. And some people still go back to them. I don't know if it's this whole, what's it called, like Stockholm Syndrome type thing. But I, I just, like, I get it, but I don't get it. Why would you do that to yourself? And you're talking about having a kid that you got to do better for, like. So he was, I have it all on video. We were able to pull, even though my phone was broken, we were able to watch the video. Is it just me or did her tone get a lot cuter and she like fixed her hair or something when this guy showed up? She might she might have found a new boyfriend already. Down and I I opened the door and he pushed me out and I skidded across the load. I didn't know this was I didn't know this was a police officer and I was just like, somebody help me. And I raced her down and I was like, please help me. That's what you call good luck, though, because imagine it wasn't a police officer and just how bad it could have gone. Stop, and he told me, you see it on video, officer, you're not paying attention. He said, he said. Hey, sir, how's it going tonight? Um, so, yeah, I just spoke with your, is it she your girlfriend, wife? All right, so, yeah, I kind of saw some stuff, so you want to give me your side of the story of what just happened, or? Okay. Yeah, she tuck and rolled for the hell of it. No kidding. Alright, you're broken up. It's fair game at that point, right? I mean, it's gonna eat a guy inside if you move on that quick. But it's fair play. Like, you could have done the same shit. If you actively love this chick and you were broken up during that time, you're going to have to learn to put it behind you. But him being like this whole controlling, like you're actively defying me type person, I don't think he'll be able to move forward. Because people like that are always stuck in the past and they'll never let you live something like that down. Okay, yeah, because I definitely saw you were all over the media, and then you did, like, that crazy turn Whoa, right there, and then she went was flying out of the car, like, flying. Have you been drinking at all? I've had about two beers. A couple beers? I mean, you seem pretty adamant to get her back in the vehicle when she was out, and then she came sprinting towards me. She's drunk and just threw herself into the street. Of course I want to get her back in the vehicle. Okay. Well, she was playing a video to me, and you sounded very upset with her, and she said she was very upset. Right, because people just get drunk and decide they're going to play like Silver Surfer on the concrete. Except for her and fearing for her life. She is safe around me. Well, I mean, you weren't driving so safe. I don't know. I wouldn't call it safe per se to be a totally blunt. She's safe. It, well, just the video she was showing me was I would be a little or rattled too if I, I had someone speaking to me in that tone or saying, saying those tell things. Tell me the name. Please tell me the name. Please tell me I was upset. I'm angry. I'm very angry. I honestly thought you were absolutely drunk, like rearing all over the road. You went all into the median and then you just did that crazy. I thought you were a state trooper literally running code to go run around because you whipped that turn so ridiculously. Have you taken anything other than, like, uh, have you done anything other than drink that could alter your impairment, like, to drive? Any pills, nothing? I was just acting crazy. Would you be able to? Innocent until proven guilty, but I feel like this guy's gonna have to go uh, to D block to get D, D down by DJ. Like, this guy needs a little bit of jail time in his life. Would you be willing to do like a urine test? Okay. Blood test, whatever you want. All right. What about field sobriety test? Yeah, absolutely. Don't know if we need to be split up for tonight. Yeah, I would. I, 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 I don't know where to go. She won't know where to go. Obviously, she would go to the household over me. I'll see if we can the car or something like that, but I didn't. You really think you're walking away from this one? Nope. 
she she seemed very very fearful. She was saying you were threatening to kill her and no, all that other stuff. Okay. And I, she's intoxicated. I will agree with you there. I'm not disagreeing with you there. But, okay, because she does have videos on her phone, so I'm gonna go listen to those. I'm gonna go listen to the video on her phone. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it crazy how much of a difference that makes now? Like, you just have to pull out, start recording. Because before, it would have been, you know, here's your truth, uh, his truth, and the truth, like the real truth, somewhere down the middle. But... Just detain for now. I'm just going to speak with her. I just want to listen to the video, see what the deal is. I mean, that was very, that was not, I didn't, that was not fun for anyone to watch or see. That was horrifying. I literally thought she was dead. Hey. Uh, this is yeah. The nurses. <laughs> okay, you want to sit down? Oh, sorry. Just, just I, sit down guys, like I said, I'm a nurse. I've been drinking. Yeah. So, do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah come this way. Get away from the road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you, uh, you want to go to the rescue? Um. But it'll probably be easier. Yeah. Yeah, that was easier. Yeah. I'm still a little mad at that nurse that practiced her first ever catheter on me, though. We have to get you cleaned up, good. I'll, I'll talk with you in there. Okay. Are you, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. Yeah, I got you. Oh yeah, horrible. I, I, I chased her down on the road. Yeah, I didn't know was she horrible. was a police officer. I chased her down. I said, please help me. Didn't I? I said, please help me. Get a, get a statement. Let him, let him get her cleaned up. Get yeah, a that's what I think. And then... Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you're her, though, you have to be terrified. Like, this dude, like, he's a big dude. And uh, he could do a lot of damage. She had to jump out of a car to get away from him. And he thinks, oh, maybe we just need to be separated for the night. Like, maybe you need to be separated for life, guy. Part of a crime, you know? It's not kind of weird. It's kind of lucky that you were exactly where you were when you were and a cop was behind you. Because this could have ended so much more, like, disgustingly tragic. And what, what would the crime be? We're going to figure it out. As Attempt as murder, as well. maybe? Yeah, Take you're just down. detained right now. That's it. I'll transport for you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Why don't we give him notice? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go, let's go tell him. All right, sir, at this time, you are being placed under arrest just based on what we're going through right here. All right, so we're going to transport you over to the jail. We're going to go through some fields for ID, all that stuff, okay? For what? Domestic. She explained that you've had... It's just a domestic? Because if he was trying to drag her back in the car, couldn't it be kidnapping? I know if you take someone against their will to a different room and you're, like, holding them in there, I think that's technically kidnapping. But I guess this isn't a room situation, but it's, like, easier to get a kidnapping charge than you think had history in the past, etc. So. The man was transported to the county jail, where he was interviewed a bit more and administered SFSTs, where he showed no signs of impairment. At the time of this body cam footage, the man was charged with reckless driving and aggravated battery. But as I said earlier, I still can't get over those damn lightning bolts, man. Like what, this guy's trying to Chidori the coochie or something? If you got that reference, I love you to death. I guarantee a lot of you did. Earlier in the video, a new charge was added. False imprisonment of the third degree. And when I looked up the specific statute I found in the court case, it listed 787.02 subsection 2. And I have no idea why that charge was given. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Confinement of a child? That's a weird one, man. Alright, but... Anyways, this guy out of his effing mind to think throwing her out of a car because you're arguing about something that happened when you were broken up, like maybe that breakup happened pretty quick, but uh, the nurse had a little bit of go get her in her, you know what I mean? And uh, that's probably why you loved her in the first place, but uh, it hurts a little more, I guess. He's not gonna be able to move past that. That relationship's dead in the water, right? But uh, just you kind of got to be careful with who you're dealing with like that. I feel like she knew this guy was some kind of hothead, but I'm not going to, like, put it on her that that happened. Just be careful out there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And hopefully she's healed up and she's better now and she's in a happier place with her kid. But uh, stay away from guys like that because they're freaking dangerous. But leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Something a little different. I might make a second channel to do videos like this. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see y'all. Peace.